This one blows soul food out the water. Get into it. <laughs> So I'm sitting here filming an unboxing for Coco Kind because they are they just launched their new chlorophyll discoloration serum. I'm super excited to try that. And so I was filming an unboxing because I wanted to do a PR haul for y'all. And I just I was just getting started. Like I was just getting started. And Coco Kind already is an amazing brand. I love them so much. And they are the best when it comes to what I feel like the affordable skincare that's out there on the market. I hope y'all can hear me over them doing outside work right now. But they sent not only the serum, but they sent me flowers, y'all. Like this, this self-care day is like truly off to such a great start. Like, look at this. I never had a brand send me flowers before. It's like I'll play the clip where I like you literally hear me say oh like I was about to cry because it's been a rough couple of days and just seeing this on my doorstep was such an amazing thing for them to do. send out flowers every now and then because they have their random acts of kindness um which is part of their brand philosophy which i think is so sweet like you can be a part of the random acts of kindness by entering giveaways and you can be on their um like permanent list for that if you have enough points on their website so i'm like almost at that point where i have enough points because i consistently use coca kind products y'all know this but i just thought that was so sweet this day is just off to such a great start so let's go ahead and get into the rest of the pr i don't think anybody's gonna be able to top this Okay, so I decided to switch up the angle so I'm not backlit and y'all can see me and you can see the products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first up is something that I'm honestly really excited about and that's these tinted sunscreens by Odessi Set. I think that's how you say it. And it is a flex perfecting SPF 50 mineral drops tinted sunscreen UVA, UVB, and PA++++ with niacinamide and green tea. So, so this is meant kind of for the oily girls. And I, they sent me two shades. I said, hey, I don't know if I'm between three or four. So they went ahead and sent me both. I'll put um, somewhere on the screen of me swatching both of the colors. I have to say, I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed. So we'll see how that plays out. I want to put it to the test throughout the day and I'll get back to you all to see how it wears throughout the day. Next up is Philosophy. They went ahead and sent me something that I did open this one, but I thought it was so cute that I had to share with you guys. Ooh. So this is their, ooh, it's stuck in the package. They were not playing around. This is the Dose of Wisdom Bouncy Skin Reacting Serum. Now I have to say, the, gift, the little gift they sent with this package was so cute. I can't wait to try this serum. But 
on the bag it says bouncy is the new healthy and we all are like looking for bouncy dewy glowy skin these days and it's kind of hard as an oily girl so i'm curious to see what this will do for my oily skin but i thought it was so cool that since the whole concept is bouncy skin that they sent over some jacks y'all they sit over some jacks and these are like fancy jacks these aren't the jacks that you would get at the dollar tree back when you were a kid i already played a couple of rounds with these and I, my skills are honestly lacking <laughs> now let's go ahead and get into the last skincare box this is again peach slices they they really they really love us <laughs> meaning the oily skin girls this is the new line i think it's new yeah it's the new oil control collection and i'm so excited i've been wanting to get into these products but i wanted to share it with you all first before you know they get all slippery and kind of gross looking you know when you really be getting into your skincare it not it doesn't look cute anymore so let's go ahead and get into these products it's four products in the collection you have the oil control balancing mist with niacinamide zinc pine bark and green tea this is supposed to help you mattify and balance for refined shine free skin Okay, next up is the Oil Control Balancing Cleanser, again with the Niacinamide Zinc, Pine Bark, and Green Tea. This is going to help you deep cleanse and absorb oil for refreshed and refined skin. All right, let's get into these last two. This is the Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer, again with all those ingredients. And this is going to be very interesting, especially since it's still hot outside. I'm about to put this to the test like today, tomorrow. I, of course, I'm gonna patch test this as well. And this is the Oil Control Pore Serum. Now this one, I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like I would just want a moisturizer. Like when it comes to oil control, I feel like I wouldn't want to use multiple products. So I'm interested to see how the, the serum and the moisturizer work together. If you're supposed to even use them together because sometimes as an oily skin girl i don't use a serum and a moisturizer y'all know i typically go for my coco kind serum my barrier serum as my moisturizer i i don't use it as a serum I use it as a moisturizer because <laughs> the skin is oily and i'm not going to use a moisturizer and a serum unless it's the winter and that's like the only time i've i've yeah that's the only time i would use a moisturizing serum as well as a moisturizer oh it's a pump okay i thought this was going to be like a really huge dropper let's see oh that is definitely a serum it's squirted everywhere okay i can see how that wouldn't be like too shiny on this skin it honestly feels like water like most serums that i've tried usually are have a thicker consistency and i wonder if it's more oil controlled just because it's a thinner consistency as well as the ingredients All right let's go ahead and move on to hair now i know this is the one y'all are probably most excited about but I have a package from Amika. Now y'all know I love Amika, so I was super excited when I got this PR from them. And their packaging is always so cute. Okay, we open in the teardrop, but that means we're gonna get into some moisture. I already see, uh-huh, Hydro Rush, that blue, that's how you know you're about to get, yep, intense moisture mask. Okay. Now, y'all know I'm not one to deep condition. I really only have a couple deep conditioners in my sash, and I really only use one of them for the most part. But I have been wanting to try a few other deep conditioners out because people ask me those questions, and I want to be able to have answers for you all, even if it's not something that I use consistently in my routine. I still want to give y'all some some options um some highlights of the ones that i have tried and do like oh look it is bomb okay bomb ass fro is in the building and this gel has been on my 
wish list for a minute okay and when i really wanted it it was sold out they recently i don't know the ins and out of the business but i do know that they had like a pre-order sale i missed the pre-order they got a billboard super excited for them congratulations to them and then they reached out saying hey we love your content we've been following each other for a minute so thank you so much to bomb as fro i can't wait to try this styler i have been eyeing it for a minute i just put it on my black friday wish list so it was super exciting to see y'all reach out it says thank you for shopping hey destiny i'm so excited for you to try our highly sought out curl defining jelly it, yeah highly saw out because I was trying to get it for a minute and it wasn't there <laughs> I know your curls are going to be bomb stay beautiful thank you so much let's open this up because I'm I'm about to try this this weekend okay because I need to know oh she's shaking like she jelly mm-hmm mm-hmm Mm. And that's how you know it's good when someone just looks at it and says mm -hmm, and nods in approval yeah this looks exciting i can't wait to try this as a one product styler and i can't wait to try this as a base gel because i think this would be beautiful as a base gel Ooh, i'm so excited <laughs> i haven't been this excited in a minute um but it's, it's been a good day so far. It's been a really good day. And I can't wait to continue this self-care day with y'all. All right, we need to chat. We need to chat real quick. It is the next day and I did not finish my self-care. And I really should have, but it is what it is. And we're going to continue our self-care today. And I was sitting back watching some just scrolling through instagram and i saw that one of the local beauty supply chains here is closing down completely i'm talking 25 today 50 percent off and i was like oh my god i gotta go for what i think a lot of the time when it comes to just trying to make yourself feel good sometimes you just want to spend money you just want to feel like you got a deal but at the end of the day i have plenty of hair care products I already have basically a stockpile at this point. And I was like, oh, well, I could buy it for other people. It just really didn't make sense. And I think sometimes you got to slow down, rationalize your thoughts a little bit and realize that you don't always need to spend money. You can stay in the house, especially since this summer, just spending money willy nilly, doing all the fun things because, you know, we outside and all that. No, it's time to sit in the house. <laughs> <laughs> at least for August and not spend as much money and I felt like you know I had to get the deal I had to go out and buy things but at the end of the day I have plenty of hair products that I need to be using that I have even got to in the back of my stash and I think that's just a testament that self-care does not have to be expensive self-care doesn't always have to mean retail therapy just wanted to add this little tidbit in the vlog because I just had to sit down and be like, wait a second, what do you need another shampoo and conditioner for? Cause it's 50% off? Girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For the sake of self care day, I wanna go ahead and try this Amika Hydro Rush mask. Okay, Hydro Rush. Now this is a totally different texture than their um, soul food mask. Let me let me go get that mask just to, just to show y'all the comparison. All right, so this is Amika's soul. I'm gonna make sure that I'm saying that. Yes, this is Amika's soul food hair mask, and this is their Hydro Rush. So there is a clear difference in the color and in the texture. This one is already this is thick, but it's already starting to try to spill out. Where this one's not going anywhere. Now I will say that I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair. I typically, like I told y'all, I don't really do deep conditioning mask. Um, like I said, the last time I did it was literally MLK Day weekend, which is in January. So let me go ahead and do this real quick so I'm not wet. I did already detangle my hair, but I do want to see how this deep conditioner does. 
for me especially because i feel like i would like this a little bit better than soul food i feel like soul food was very um buttery i'm gonna say i'm gonna be heavy-handed today so i'm gonna say about this much and we'll see if we need to tweak it um if not you know i feel like this is a decent amount all right so yeah it feels really good oh my god this feels good this might be too much because amika does have pretty good quality ingredients yeah look at that that's good and i still have a ton on my hands it's in there and it's because it's a heavier product you can see how it's like elongating my curls some more is there some weight to it and i think that's why a lot of people like deep conditioners because they give your hair a little bit of weight to it and i think some people think that might be doing something for them especially when they're detangling that can be beneficial so the hair doesn't shrink up on itself as much so you're able to get through there a little bit easier i think i need to read the instructions um but i believe this i only need to keep this in for 10 minutes i'll probably keep it in for 15. i do not like to go beyond 30 minutes I feel like that's when you can cause yourself more harm than good when you are deep conditioning because you don't want your hair to be like overly hydrated and potentially experience uh, hydro fatigue because you just left your deep conditioner in there too long. For the folks that are deep conditioning overnight, they come knocking at my door saying nothing's wrong, nothing's ever happened to them, but I wouldn't want to risk um, hydro fatigue. I have experienced that and more importantly, um be contributing to any bacterial growth on your scalp even though you're like washing it after what well, rinsing it out after the fact you still can be causing bacterial growth if you're deep conditioned for long periods of time and i'm not gonna put the pictures on here because i don't want to like gross anybody out but if you are curious i will send that to you or you can google it as well um it can happen it can happen and it's not pretty it's not cute it needs professional attention if you have like extreme um, bacterial growth from leaving your deep conditioner in or like keeping a wet protective style um just because your your scalp gives off a bit of heat and it's damp and it's warm and it's dark that's a recipe for bacteria and mold to grow. So be safe out there. So I'm literally going to only do this for maybe 15 minutes. Ooh, I haven't done this in so long. I don't even know if I have any spare shower caps for real. I might have to use a Kroger bag. Ooh, I'm not trying to use a Kroger bag. I might have to. Or I might just leave it like this. get into it <laughs> all right let me go ahead and take out this deep conditioner oh yeah it's like all the white residue is pretty much gone oh my hair feels really really soft oh yeah this really soft look at all that curl definition trying to pop through and it's definitely heavy it definitely has that weight to it y'all see it like my link trying to come through I love this mask. Hold on. I really love this mask compared to this. This one blows soul food out the water. I think that's going to be one of the ones that are pretty much up there with me. I really love the Barigio Don't Despair Repair hair mask, but my stylist said I probably don't need that much protein, so don't use it as much as I was at a certain point. So, but this is a really good moisture mask. But if you wanted something that was more protein focused, I would probably get that Barigio one because that one's really good as well. I'm going to go ahead and wash out my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and jump into styling. Turns out I'm a liar. I did end up treating myself up to some boba tea, but honestly, I deserve and it's not contributing to, you know, my product shelves. So I got what I got. I got a taro boba and it was good. And I got some incense from Aroma G's just to treat myself for filming so much content this month.
today i am planting some carrots y'all know i've been trying to get into my gardening bag and it's honestly been really really fun to just get out there get some vitamin d get some sunlight get into the dirt play around and grow my own food it's been really fun i can't wait to update you all on how the carrots are doing in the next vlog but i did have to make sure that i kind of spaced them out in a way where i wouldn't have to do too much work now you'll see in the next vlog that that didn't really work out in my favor but we're here now and destiny in the past does not know that that didn't work but i am using two different types of carrots this is the multi color pack so i'm super excited to have different colored carrots and i'm putting these into the smaller buckets the goal that i was trying to do was to space them out about an inch apart just to make sure i didn't have to do too much um not weeding but like threading out the carrots so they have room to grow and flourish to their full potential and you don't pull out skinny little like carrot bits at the end but i did have to cover them up and shield them from the sunlight until they are a bit more mature so i just covered them up with some wood planks and i just want to close out this vlog by saying thank you so much for all the love and i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye y'all